just want to make this quick video. Hopefully I'm not too loud. Um, maybe I'll move somewhere else. Well. Uh oh, Illuminati. Never mind, I'm, I'm going to stand up and do it. But, um, guess what? My friend is back. Um, he came back, uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to check the, I'm pretty sure it was the 26. I'm pretty sure it was the 26. Yeah, 26. So the dude came back on January 26, 2021. It was so fucking weird to talk to him. He was gone for like... You know, he was gone. You know, you haven't seen him since Thanksgiving. I don't know, it's so fucking weird. He disappears before Thanksgiving. He comes back on January... He come he comes back in January. Then it's like he he tells me that bad stuff was happening before before Thanksgiving. I oh, don't know. It's weird. It's like he 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 aban he abandoned me the day before Thanksgiving. But apparently things bad things were happening before then. Well, why didn't you tell me? Was I too busy blabbering my mouth off for you to say anything? You could have said something in the morning, waking up, be like, Hey, I woke up, there's bad stuff happening. You could have said it then, you know? I don't know why he didn't say anything, you know? You should have told me before, before Thanksgiving that bad shit was happening. But he always has to be silent about stuff. Is it... Let y'all let me know. Is that a bad trait? Is that a sign of something weird going on in a friendship when the friend is being silent about stuff? Let me know if that's a bad trait because he seems to do. I don't hate the dude, but he seems to do that a lot. He seems to be silent about stuff and he shies away. So let me know if those are two bad signs in, in a friendship or any kind of ship, relationship, anything. Let me know. I think it is. I don't think that's right for you to be hush-hush and you fucking go to fucking Narnia. I don't think that's right. But whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. And it sucked that he had to go through. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to post his... I'm not going to say what happened in his life. Even though it's, it, I'm not using his name or anything. I have at least some kind of respect to not say what happened. I mean, I could. I mean... Even if I did, even if I did say what happened in his life, it wouldn't make me a bad person to post it online to y'all. Because I'm not using his name and stuff like that. So it wouldn't make me a bad person, but I'm just trying to just be really... Gotta be really, uh... Just have to be hush-hush about it. Myself, I have to be hush-hush about it myself to you guys. Um... Because it's none of you guys' business what he goes through. I, I don't know if my friend... And I don't know if my friend would want to... I don't know if my friend would have issues me telling. Like, I don't, like, what if my friend had an issue with me posting to you guys what happened in his life? Like, you know, so I don't want to break that trust or whatever, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but it, it, anyways, it did, it did suck that he had to go through that. But to... Avoid the internet for months, dude. Like, it, it was really bad. But you could have just came on at least once a week and... I don't know. Like, maybe I'm... Maybe I don't want to downplay what he went through, but he... I don't know. Like... Like, no one... Nothing... I don't know. I can't get into too much detail, but it's just... I don't know. It's like... I don't know. It's whatever. I mean, it's however people react to things. People react to things differently. You know what I mean? Some people shy away, and it's whatever. But as I'm recording this, it's the 31st of January, and I haven't seen him in five days. So is he going to pull this stuff with me again? I hope not. It's funny because when I said goodnight to him on the 26th, I said, Oh, because he's like, I gotta get off. And I'm like, okay, see you in the summer, lol. Um, well, 
that might be true now because it's five days of him avoiding me. So I think he might be doing it again. I'm glad that I'm not going to bring up the bad thing that happened. I'm glad. Because it's I don't want to be offensive with it. And I might get a lot of hate on YouTube if I go into detail about why he was avoiding me. And I don't want to criticize his experiences. And again, I'm glad that I'm not going into de uh, I'm glad that I'm not going into detail because people on YouTube would they would uh, try to cancel me by by stop watching my videos and unsubbing. So I don't want to be offensive when I say this. But like, um, I don't want to be off I don't want to be offensive. But I hope what he's saying is the truth. Is what I'm saying. You know, you know what I mean. Like, I, like I hope he's telling the truth. You know what I mean. That's that's all I'm gonna say. You know. I'm not trying to downplay his experience. I just whatever he told me. I hope it's the truth, and it's not because he's avoiding me specifically. Also, Mello we. Oh, some other reason, but, you know, but, yeah, five days of him avoiding me again, so. I don't think it's the bad thing that happened in his life, because he said that the bad thing that happened in his life in November 2020, he told me that that bad thing in November, it's getting better. So if it's getting better, why are you avoiding me for five days, you know what I mean? So let's just hope that the five days of him avoiding me is... Is it, it's it's because of something else. Let's hope that it is, you know, and, and and let's hope that it's not because of something else, like 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 me. Well, I don't know. It's just so yeah. Uh, this is the end of this video. Uh, this is Nasik Mind Train. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do this shying away thing again. And I hope it's not me. I'm still. I still feel like it's me. You know. But this is the only dude that I, this is the only person that I relate to. Everyone else, I had to say this in a fucking Discord server. It's not really a great thing to say because there's a Discord server that I'm in that's a, full of joke stores and trolls. Yesterday I was so fed up, I said in that Discord server, I'm not going to say what the Discord server is called, but I basically said, what keeps us together as, you know, like... As humans, like what 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 makes us have friends? What makes us relate to each other? What makes us have connections? Because I don't really have that. Everyone around me is not like me, or they don't like either. I have nothing in common with people, or they don't like me as a person, or I just everyone. If it's bo this life is boring, basically. This life is too mean and cruel, you know what I mean? And I don't get how people make connections with each other, I don't get it. Because nothing's interesting. You know, the, like I'm one of a kind, you know? No one is like me, you know? Um, I don't know, I'm gonna end this. This is Nasik Mind Train, and yeah, this is the end.